Hello, you are back on Scope, and today we are looking at future tech. Now, that's technology that's here now, but is set to have an impact in the future. Things like, well, I don't know, a, a 3D skin scanner? How does that sound? I don't know, good, right? We all know we have to slip, slop, slap and do our best to avoid the sun's harmful rays. But we also need to make sure that we are checking our skin regularly to keep our eyes open for potential skin cancers. And here at the Princess Alexandra Hospital, we're working to make that process easier. Hi, I'm Associate Professor Tarl Pro, and today I'm going to show you the future of skin cancer scanning. The skin is your largest organ, covering your entire body. It protects our insides from the outside world and keeps fluids in and regulates temperature. And like every other part of the body, it's made up of cells. Skin cancer occurs when abnormal cells grow on the surface of the skin, and that can be brought on by overexposure to the sun's rays. And when caught early enough, most skin cancers can be treated effectively. And that's why it's important to make sure that we know what's going on with the surface of our skin. This machine is making this process even easier. This is our 3D skin scanner, and we're only the second location in the world to have one. Our scanner is made up of 46 DSLR cameras set up on a scaffold that patients can stand inside of. These cameras will all go off within a millisecond of each other, and 19 of them are used to build the 3D image of a person, while the rest take high-resolution pictures of the skin. The software stitches together the images to form an avatar which has amazing detail. So the way that works is each of these cameras are connected to a network router, and so the data is transmitted from the cameras to the router and then to the computer for processing. Once we have the avatar made, we can zoom in and have a look at any moles that we think might be suspicious. And when you come back in, we can take the images again and compare to see if there are any growth or changes in the moles. And the best part for the patients is that they only have to be in the device for a few seconds and the likelihood of unnecessary excisions is lower. Now this is a prototype version, but we're gonna get the updated commercial version next year for patients. Hopefully this new technology can improve the way that we detect and treat skin cancers, making it easier and ultimately saving lives.